was a girl and she lived by the sea. Land was clear and old, shrouded by a mystery. She lived all alone, not a family to her name. Heart was fierce and bold, but her eyes were calm and tame. Hello, my name is Isabel Rogers. And I'm Phoebe Rogers. And we are animators and musicians and artists. Yes. Going way back, we have always been artists. Yes. Since we were like two years old, we would always be drawing things. We recently decided one year to make um, a film called Searching for Spring, which we wanted to submit into the Maine Student Film and Video Festival. Mm. So we didn't really have like professional equipment at the time, but um, that kind of helped us in the future to think, wow, okay, like we didn't expect to win the grand prize. So that kind of inspired us to maybe take it up a notch. After um, the festival was over, we decided to go to the Maine Student Conference mm -hmm. to learn about um, some more animation techniques and video techniques of other kids that are interested in film. And we met the instructor of Foster Tech's digital mm -hmm. media program, which we later in that fall of that same year, we ended up going to Foster Tech for two years in digital media and mm. commercial arts. And the next year, we wanted to do another submission to the film festival, but we decided to give stop motion animation a go, mm. and we knew nothing about it. <laughs> yeah. But we wanted to give it a try, and mm. that ended up working out, although it was a lot of hard work and mm. trial and yes. error. <laughs> there once was a girl, and she lived by the sea. Land was clear and old, shrouded by a mystery. She lived all alone, not a family to her name. Heart was fierce and bold, but her eyes were calm and tame. For animation, we very heavily depend on storyboarding. Mm -hmm. So, like the Ocean Child ones, I was always referring to yes. those. Yeah, and the reason the storyboarding for animation is really important is because it takes a long time to do that, like especially stop motion. So mm -hmm. if we mess it up like and say, oh, we want to change the story, we can't really go back because we wasted a lot of time. Usually for our animation setup, this is kind of our rig that we got here, which is just a slider so we can Move so we can get some nice pan shots and stuff. And we use our camera, which is connected into our computer and into this software so we can see where it is and it can directly be edited from there. But for the background wise, what we, we watercolor paint all of our backgrounds and we usually just take them down and we make a lot of these cutout overlays oh, cool. to add over to make our background more oh, intricate, <laughs> right? We make all of our um, paper cutouts by hand mm -hmm. and we usually, what we have, um, we usually have our paint with us when we're animating because there's a lot of touching up you can yes. do. Um, these are our puppets. They're jointed with earring hook wire mm. on the back. So we can be able to move these. It took me a lot of designing, <laughs> trial and error, to try to make her move. But mm -hmm. towards the end, she actually moved pretty nice. And then her hair is separate. Mm -hmm. And the seal puppet is also hinged. So, and these are all made out of like the same paper. It's like, I think it's a Bristol paper yes. that I use. And then I put watercolor over for the detail and pen and ink. If we were wanting to animate some of this, we can take a photo, just move it just a little bit, or I usually use an X-Acto name, and we just move things a little bit, and then 
just keep doing this for hours. And then we'll place them into a movie editing program. We use Premiere. So usually they take us, say, a couple months. Yeah. Through mountains of wildflowers swaying to and fro. Through which she goes to the sea walls and their crows. She looked down beyond the cliff and stood there for a while. Black hair blowing wild. She is the ocean child. 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 So the music, it kind of differs between the films that we make. For Ocean Child, we started with a song and we were inspired with a song because it was it told a story mm -hmm. and we built the animation around that story with the lyrics. The things that, that inspire us are definitely magic and nature. That's usually what mm -hmm. inspires us is like our imagination. We kind of meet in the middle yeah. with what we do. So usually she kind of guides the, the composing of the mm -hmm. music and then I help her add on that. And I mostly focus on the visuals and the animation. And then I say, okay, how does this look? What this one, um, its name is, for now its name is um, Flower Showers? Yeah. Is it? Is it something like that? It's still in the works, but it's here now. Well, our most recent film that we've made is titled Embryonic Universe. Mm -hmm. And it is, again, a stop motion animation. Very similar to Ocean Child with the same kind of puppets and made with paper and a lot of watercolor imagery. It's about a seed uh, growing into a flower. Yeah, that's what I'll say. <laughs> um, personally, I love animation because um, everyone can enjoy watching it. I'd like to be